about more. It's not about the, you know, the quantity, it's the quality. Just like in the gym, guys, when you're lifting reps and stuff. You know, it, it, it's, not, it's not the reps you do that count, it's making every fucking rep count that matters. Every day count in your life that matters for a life fulfilled. It's a carpe diem that's very hard to live, but it must be that way. If morning turns into a longer period of stay, it's called regret because you didn't do it right. So you learn from that lesson, you don't repeat it. Failure, we learn from, grow from, and then we go back at it and don't repeat it. That's growth, man. We all make mistakes, we just try not to repeat them. So the next person in your life that you care about, you make sure when they pass that it doesn't come with that regret. You do it right this time. You learn from the other one. Or maybe it's you going out. You know, first, you know, so you talk to them and you make sure everything's right. So when you go out, they don't feel the regret. It's all good, guys. It's coming. There's no fear towards death because we can't control it, for one. And when it does come, the only reason why you have fear is because you didn't do everything you wanted to do in your life. And I'm not talking like right now, I'm okay to die. It's not about checking all the boxes and being a grandfather and doing all, it's not about that. Because that's, that's a luxury. You don't have that right to live that long. All you have is today. That's all you got. Do you make the most of the today? Do you make today remembered? 9-11, you know, fallen but not forgotten. Every day passes but lived. Same mentality. And if you do it that way, when if you die at 20 or 30 or 80, it's going to be okay with you. You're not going to be scared. Yeah, do you want more time? With, with Quest, sure, I want more time. Do I want time in my life? Do more things? Sure. I love to experience more of this beautiful blessing we have called life. But if I'm not able to move forward anymore, I'm sure as shit not saying, fuck, man, I didn't do enough in my time I did have. Hell fucking no. I'm cool with it. So it's a celebration. There's an aftermath, an afterlife. And if you're not spiritual and you're an atheist or you don't believe in anything else, get over your fucking demons. Get over your ego. Believe there is an afterlife just for the ability to have accountability of today. In recap, guys, death gives you an eye-opening perspective of what matters. It gives you accountability and it gives you responsibility. The responsibility comes with people far better than you that have died far younger than you to give you this opportunity in mortality to make changes and make moves. We are born free. We live at the cost of many others before us. That freedom we have. You cannot take it in vain. There's a responsibility to live your life because the ones before you, I believe, embrace those highs of life. They were never able to live, they were robbed early of it. They embrace them through you. You have responsibility. It's not about you anymore. It's about a bigger picture. So get that through your head. The accountability is that today matters. Just like running a marathon, 90 days out, you had 90 days of training for it. You cannot blow off today's responsibility till tomorrow because you lost one ninety of a chance to successfully engage that marathon. Today matters. There's an afterlife where you're going to be judged to a much higher power. That judgment is judging you when no one's around. It's keeping you honest in your day when no one's looking at you. It's making sure you do everything right. There's accountability to make sure you're ready for that. It's going to college and it's passing all your tests so the accountability of graduation is successful and you get your degree and then move into the work market. Your life is the same way every single day. You're, you're, you're building your resume and doing everything right so at the end there's a celebration of the afterlife. Gotta believe in that though. Even if you're not spiritual, believe in it. Because it makes today accountable all of a sudden. It makes it valuable. Otherwise, why is what's the fucking point? The other is the perspective of death. We've all seen the near-death experiences of people and how it changes them. Mine might be up today, I don't know. I'm cool with it though. Because up until now, I've done everything I wanted to do. There's some things I wish I could have done better. I don't regret them. 
Why don't I regret them? Because I showed up. I went for it. Maybe if I failed, I learned from that failure, which, is, which in turn has made me stronger now years later. It wasn't for those failures, you know, I wouldn't be who I am now. I look back on my life and, and, and I you know, am so grateful for the successes, but blessed by the failures. Because the failures are really what created the strength for the success to actually come to fruition. Be excited about life. Stop being so scared about death. You gotta go for it, guys. You gotta say, you know what? This comfort zone I'm in is a fucking danger zone. It's a danger zone because what is it doing? It's stopping you from your true potential. It's comfortable. I don't want to step out here because I don't know that area. Don't let anyone say you can't do something. Don't let your mind say, oh, I can't do it anymore, to your body. You can, you just gotta push past it. At the end of my life, my tombstone, one thing it'll have on it, no fucking regrets. And that's a good life, man. So I encourage you, man, whatever that fear inside of you is, whatever you're, you know, you, you've been making up every excuse, making, you know, so, so you can get everybody else convinced that you're not doing it for that reason, even though inside you know you're just being a bullshitter, you know, just let it out. You know, say, hey, you know what, I'm scared. I'm really fucking scared. But I'm gonna give it a shot, have us some support. They get behind you, you know, and then you go for it, and you, bam, you overcome that step. The next step's even bigger and bigger. Next time, then you're on top of the mountain, man. If you only got one life, why not go for it, right? To win the game is also the difference with living and dying. It, it's that big. Washing the car and re grabbing the buckets and stuff is that big of a deal. Because it says who you are. It says what you value. At those competitions, at the very end state, what really wins it isn't the potential of the person. It's the perseverance. The heartbeat of a person. That heart doesn't stop. The heart doesn't go nine to five and then shut down. It's always beating. Just like a true champion doesn't just exist in the arena, but exists everywhere else too. Those moments and inches that are won at the final hour that make or break a win or a loss aren't discovered there. They're discovered through thousands of hours in the training lab. When no one's watching, do you get up and run at five in the morning when it's pouring down rain? Do you look someone in the eye and shake their hand? Or do you look down and give them a dead fish for a hand? They're all the same. Is a person a principle, a person a character that values who the fuck they are? And everything they do, they do accordingly. There's no half-ass here, half-ass there, half-ass there, and then when it matters, oh, I'll give it my all. It doesn't work that way. If you half-ass it here and there and there and there, you learn to half-ass it. So when it does matter, you don't know anything else but half-ass. You will never succeed that way. That kid going back and picking up the trash shows that, that he believes in himself. His name means something. He dropped it, he's responsible for it, and he's gonna do the right thing and throw it away. That same philosophy he will have on the slopes. He will have in his dating world when he grows, you know, he starts dating girls. He will have in his business and his family life. They all merge together. It's a three-dimensional world there. If you start shortcutting these things, as if no one's watching, it doesn't matter, those are the moments right there that lead to the glory of, of that big molt, you know, boulder moving, man. No matter what happens at this point forward, I've already won. I've already won, because I bet on myself. And when you bet on yourself, man, you never lose, you learn. Valuable lessons. And you reapply in your next endeavor. And you keep going, man. You don't stop. There's no end state. There's no point where you cross a finish line in life and be like, dude, I've done it all, man. Don't need to do anymore, because that's not what started the first journey to begin with. It's that pressure cooker in life. 
where the butterflies are filling you and the anxiety fits, you know, and you're getting short of breath and your heart's beating like a, like a machine gun and your fingertips are going numb, man. That you feel like, whoa, well, we're alive right now. Something's happening right now. That fight or flight moment, what do you do? What do you do? Man, that's, that's as good as life gets, man. That's the purest form right there. It's not about your fucking bank account or, or the, the tangible items in life and your possessions. You can't rest on that stuff, guys. If you do, well, I hope it's all you ever want because you won't get anything else. Some people fall, some people trip. Everyone hits the ground at one point. The question is, who gets back up? Failure is part of success. Bruce Lee says, you know, if someone achieves a title and everyone tries to chase that title, they never get that. They never get the title. And why? Because they're chasing the title. The title is nothing, there's nothing there. It's like a movie, nothing's there. It's the individual that created the title. You must back research the character of that person, what they went through, the trials and tribulations, to achieve that status, that opportunity, that, that, that respect of a tangible trophy that holds so much weight. It's not the materials, it's the individual that created that. You gotta study the character. And when you study the character, you see failure everywhere. Everywhere. There's just some dark hours, man. Where people all of this <laughs> fell apart. Why didn't it? The belief of the individual, true as with where he's going, kept his eyes focused on the horizon. He didn't get carried away with all the ups and downs and the bullshit battles of the daily life. It's, it, it's, it's a pursuit of progress that equates to happiness. Always in motion, pushing towards some endeavor. Whether you get there or not, fucking who cares? Is that are you on a journey of betterment, moving somewhere in some progressive state, learning along the way? Some people move faster than others, but are you moving or are you sat down and giving in, throwing in the towel, resting on what you have, not willing to take that risk? The winnable fight, you can't gamble that. That's the real disease, man. You can gamble. Because when you know you can do it, but you're too fucking scared to fail. The thing is, everyone that's done it and achieved it have failed a million times over before they finally got it.